What's going on, friends? This is the SK1 from Two Trees. It all started off all so well, but then it just turned into a dumpster fire. Let's get straight on into this one. You are watching a master at work. So I just want to point out that the SK1's life didn't really start out like this. And I'm not in the habit of trashing 3D printers just for the sake of it. However, when you don't get any help or support with a product that you're trying to review, you have to view those things as red flags. And then to be told to cancel the video altogether? Yeah. The story didn't start out like this though. And in November, I met the Two Trees team at Formnext in Germany and saw the machine firsthand. It looked impressive with the 256, 256, 256 build volume, and it was an obvious clone of the Bamboo Lab P1P, but with a suggested 700 millimeters per second print speed, which is achieved with the aid of fast flowing filament. Either way, the printer seemed at the show to perform very well. The communication at that time was very good, and to be honest, I've really enjoyed working with the Two Trees team, and aiming to rectify some of the issues that the machine has had since December when the machine was shipped to me. The SK-1 printer certainly represents itself as a solid option inside of the realm of open source machines, although with some caveats. Boasting features like Clipper OS, smooth linear rails and a robust all-metal build, it positions itself in the Core XY printer market reminiscent of machines like the Vorden Trident, blended with Bamboo Lab influence and certainly with that 256-256 build plate, its market is certainly driven to the budget range of P1P style printers. Having said that, and well, being brutally honest here, although it shares a number of P1P qualities, and yes, it has an enclosure kit for another $29 more, it certainly does not outperform the P1P in any way, shape or form. And that's without bringing customer service into the focus. That $100 that you think that you'll be saving over the P1P will undoubtedly be at your detriment. Today's video is sponsored by our friends over at PCBWay.com. From schematics to reality, PCBWay.com is your one-stop solution for not only PCB manufacturing, but for also 3D printing. Yes, imagine such a thing as 3D printing. Well, they do that. Their website is simple and easy to navigate. All you need to do is upload your .stl file, select which materials you want to print with, and voila, the price is generated and you click order. Thank you once again to PCBWay.com for being part of this video. Let's get back to it, shall we? Now, the only really successful print that I actually got out of this was in the first day, which is this kind of gonk gnome. And the print actually isn't too bad. So what went wrong? So like all videos, they have a start, middle and end. But from the start with this printer, there were issues. And these issues were kind of forgivable in the first instance, as the machine was from the very first batch that was sent out to content creators. So things like firmware bugs or aesthetics are at times certainly expected. My first pushback to two trees were about the bed and bed leveling. And in my opinion, the bed actually isn't thick enough to deal with the heat expansion without warping. The bed itself in this case is a mere four millimeters thick with a magnet of two millimeters followed by a PEI sheet. The bed just wasn't flat and on feedback i was told that users would be fine because of the auto bed leveling uh, what let's just hope that two trees stay away from construction other problems included the bed not leveling and it wasn't making much sense on the ui and certainly it wasn't clear which leveling process you were trying to achieve for example are you trying to level the bed in a triangular formation or a six by six bed leveling again at this stage it was slightly forgivable but lacking on that vital calibration information at that time so where does that leave us now well at the moment the printer still doesn't work the feedback as i said at the very beginning from two trees has been well due to the time scales here and bear in mind we got the machine back in November and now we're in May crazy right I met Rex so I met Rex again so he's the the CEO or he's certainly one of the top bosses at Two Trees and I explained all the situation to him and told him that you know we're still having problems with this tripod from tripods garage also had an SK1 at the Rocky Mountain Rep Rep Festival that he admits still has problems so I fed back to him, I fed back to the team again, and of course the email that we've seen is basically just to kind of forget about the whole thing. But of course I've got time invested. There's editor time, there's my time, there's kind of research and development time, there's using the machine, there's there's a ton of hours and days that have gone into kind of content creation. So I have to make a video on it. And at this particular point, I can honestly say, and I'm sorry, but don't buy this machine. Of course, there's going to be other people out there that are going to have a really good experience. And my experience just hasn't been that. 
And we've also got the T450 CNC machine from Two Trees that I still need to get out of the box. But I was worried and concerned that I needed to get this machine fixed and repaired. And we're at that stage now where they don't want me to continue with it. There's been no formulation around firmware. I'm I'm left in limbo here. And it's quite obvious that they don't want to talk to me any further about getting this machine fixed. Now, there has been instances in the past where I've reviewed a machine or started to review a machine and it's been bad, categorically bad. And sometimes what happens is the manufacturer later on down the line will go, well, we'll send you another machine, our updated model. We've changed all these things and see what you think. And we can kind of throw around a comparison model, but nothing at this point has been offered forwards. So I'm sad. I'm really sad about it. And, you know, where do, where do you go from from here? At the initial stages, when I was looking at this at Formnext, I was kind of impressed with what I saw. You know, this is another Core XY 3D printer in that marketplace. Potentially, it could have been a good budget printer. I think the price is set still too high. And even with the discounts and stuff, and with the problems ultimately that I've had with this, and I know other people have struggled with it as well. I'm sorry, Two Trees, but this is just not a good product. And just in addition to all this, I will point out as well that the people that I have been dealing with at Two Trees have been good. They've been they've been wonderful people. However, around March, April time, what I tend to find, certainly in the 3D printing world and in Chinese kind of culture, they they do tend to kind of move companies and no short of four people have moved away from Two Trees um, since my initial kind of introduction to them and they've moved on to different companies so the people that I was dealing with originally other than Rex the people that I have been previously dealing with are no longer with the company so at this stage I'm sorry to say it's lights out for uh, the SK1 well it's certainly not the video I wanted to make I thought this was going to be great certainly the the speculation of that has been what it was there's no moving forward at this particular point so two trees if you want to reach out that's the video. I have got the 450 CNC machine here that I need to get out of the box. And that's literally next. So let me know in the comments if I should even bother. Have you got this machine? Is it good for you? Have you got this CNC machine? Have you have you looked at it? What's your thoughts and comments around that? I'm keen to know before I get this thing out of the box and start making content on it. Is it going to be as bad as the SK1, or am I going to get a different experience altogether? Um, again, let me know what you think about it in the comments. Thank you for watching the video. Make sure you like and subscribe, and we will see you next time. Bye for now. And buy a P1P. The links are in the description. You are watching a master at work.